In this video, you're going to learn exactly how to place trades within the Forex markets using the four different types of pending orders inside MetaTrader 4. So let's dive right into it, shall we? Okay. So in order for you to be able to use the four different type of pending orders within the Forex markets inside MetaTrader 4, you would need to know what those pending orders are and how to actually use them. Okay. And that's exactly what I'm going to explain to you first before I show you how to place those orders. So the first on the list is the buy stop pending order. So what exactly is the buy stop pending order? Well, let's assume that you're, you're a trend trader, for example. Okay. And you think, that after looking at your charts, you of the notion that price is going to move up, okay? So price has made a higher high and a higher low, okay? It's made this higher high, for example, and it's made this higher low, okay? And it's made another higher high, and you're actually anticipating price to break above this resistance level and form a brand new high. And that's the reason why when price breaks this level, you want to buy because based on uh, uh, the anatomy of a trend, you believe that if price is able to break above this level, uh, forget it, just keeping it simple here, assuming there are no fake outs, okay? You're assuming that when price breaks this level, it's going to continue moving up. Now, for you to be able to place, and let's assume that the current market price is at this level. It's lower than the price level you want to get in at, okay? So in this case, you have two options. You can either sit in front of your chart and wait for price to reach this level, deprive yourself of sleep and family time and everything, waiting for price to reach that level for you to buy it. Or you can use the buy stop pending order to your advantage. Okay. So in this case, all you need to do if you want to use the buy stop pending order is to just come into your MetaTrader uh, Forex trading platform and place your buy stop pending order above the market's current price with your stop loss and your profit target if that's what you want. <clears throat> excuse me, if that's what you want, okay? And once you've done that, you can go about doing whatever you want. You wouldn't need to be glued to your charts and keep on looking at your charts for uh, waiting for that setup you, you, you're you actually looking to get in on, okay? So since you now know what the buy stop pending order is, let me show you how to place that buy stop pending order, okay? So I'm on the chart of the GBP USD currency pair. You can see we have already have we already have a trade on this pair. So instead, let me just use something else. Let's use the uh, GBP JPY. In this case, you can see that this pair has been sort of in a downtrend, and we are anticipating. Let's assume that we're anticipating that this pair is going to reverse and move to the upside. Okay. So if price is able to break above this level of resistance, this minor level of resistance, we are assuming that this support level, in that case, this support level would have held. Okay, so we're going to buy if price breaks this level, place our stop loss below this level and our profit target above at this price level. So in order to do that, like I showed you the last time, you can click on this to launch the new order uh, dialog box or you can right click on your charts. You'd still get to the same place. Okay, so let's assume you've already worked out the lot size you're going to trade so that you don't risk more than 1% of your account's capital per trade. So in this case, let's just do a 0.01 lot on the GBP JPY currency pair, okay? So once we type in this here, we're going to select pending order from the drop-down menu, okay? Once we've selected pending order from the drop-down menu, in this drop-down menu of order type, pending order type, we're going to select buy stop pending order, okay? So here in this case, we want to buy when price reaches the 151.60 level. So we're going to type in 151. 60. That's our trade entry level. So where is our stop loss going to be? Well, we're going to be placing our stop loss below this level of support, which seems to be holding at the moment. Okay. So our, so our uh, stop loss is going to be placed at 149.15. Okay. So let's type in, in the stop loss field, 149.15. Okay. And our profit target, we are aiming for price to reach this level of minor resistance, okay? Once price reaches this level, we want to take our profits. We could use this one, but we're just going to use the closest one because the probability of price reaching here is much higher, okay? So what's this price level? Well, it's the 154.50 price level. So we're going to be typing in 154.50 and click on place. Um, 
sorry. One four nine. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. The entry level is supposed to be one five one, not one six one. One five one. Okay, one five one. So you see that I got an error because my uh, entry, the price level which I placed, which I typed in, is actually uh, higher, much higher than the price level of my profit targets and whatnot. Okay, so that's not possible. That's why it gave me the error message. So I've edited it. Let's click on the place order now. Okay, and just like that, you can see that we've placed this order. This is the pending order we just placed. Okay, this is the uh, pending order we just placed in the market. So if you, you've already done your lot size calculation, but if, for example, you want to confirm what you're risking on the trade and what's your profit target, you can see that in this case, when we hover our mouse cursor over the trade entry level, we're actually risking $200 on this trade. So obviously, our lot size didn't work out well. You can do the lot size calculation. We go over that in towards the end of the course, okay, in the strategies video. But this is just to show you how to place a buy stop pending order. And this is your profit target. In this case, we are going for a profit of around 255 US dollars. Okay, this is just an example to show you how to place the buy stop pending order. Now, the second pending order is the opposite of the buy stop pending order. So let's assume that price is making uh, is in the downtrend. It's making lower lows and lower highs. Okay, so once it pulls back, you're assuming that when price reaches this level and breaks below it, all things being equal, you're assuming that price is going to continue going down. So in this case, we are going to place a sell order, okay, a sell order when price breaks below this level with a stop loss above this level, okay, because it's sell, we're shorting, obviously, and our profit target is going to be below this level. So in this case, let me clear the charts and let's place this order on, uh, let's use something like the GBPCHF currency pair, okay? So for this particular order, you can see that the chart seems to have, uh, this price chart seems to have bumped into resistance, okay? And after bumping into this resistance, we have this huge bearish engulfing candlestick and it looks like it's going to keep going down. So the idea here is that we're going to place our sell stop pending order below this uh, level. We're assuming that if price is able to break below this, this level, price might continue moving down and our stop loss is going to be placed above this level because if price reverses against us and goes on to break above this level, then that's obviously not a trade we want to stay in. Okay? So... To place this order, right click on our charts, hover the mouse cursor over new order and click on it, okay? So in this case, we're just, to simplify things, uh, we're just going to be going with a 0 0.10 lot. But again, if you want to risk exactly no more than 1% or 0.5% of your accounts capital, which is proper risk management, which is what we recommend, you would need to use a position size calculator to work out exactly how that's going to be, okay? So in this case, we're just learning how to place these orders. And later on in the course, you're going to learn how to do the position size calculation. So let's continue, okay? So in this case, we're going to select pending order. And the type of pending order we're going to be selecting is the sell stop pending order. So for this particular example, we're going to be placing our sell stop pending order at the zero... 0.9150 price level. So 0 0.9150. And we're going to be placing our stop loss above this resistance level, which is going to be placed at the 0 0.93 uh 9380 price level. Let's just say 9390. 0 0.9390 price level. Okay. And our profit target. We're going to place our profit target somewhere like uh 0 0.8. 900 okay so 0 0.8900 now we've typed in all of this and all we need to do now is click on place okay click on place that's all we need to do because uh we've already imputed all of the details so once the order gets through you're going to be seeing uh the order on the price chart okay just like we saw with our buy stop pending order so our order has been placed, okay? Our order has been placed into the market. And you can see that this is our stop loss, this is our profit target. So in this particular example, again, like we did the last time, when you hover your mouse cursor over the stop loss, you can see that we're actually risking around uh, $260 on this trade. So if price triggers our uh, trade, we are not in the market at the moment. It's the, the market orders that when you enter, it's going to immediately get you into the market. But with pending orders, you can see that this order is waiting to be filled. Okay, so this order is only going to be filled when price breaks below this level. 
Okay? And if price breaks below this level, we're going to be filled and our stop loss is going to be activated and our profit target. So if price was to come down here, fill this order, our trade is going to be opened. And if price reaches our stop loss, we are going to lose $260 on this trade. But on the contrary, if just like we anticipated, price continues to move down, then this trade, our profit target is set at the $271 dollars uh, level so for example if this trade hits profit we're going to make a profit of 271 dollars on this particular trade okay so i've shown you how to place the buy stop pending order and i've also shown you how to place the sell stop pending order now i'm going to delete these orders and i'm going to show you how to place the remaining two types of orders uh, pending orders inside metatrader which are what which are the buy limit pending order and the sell limit pending order so quickly, let me briefly explain to you what those uh, are so that you know how to use them and when to use them. Okay, so for the buy limit, buy limit pending orders are actually placed below the market's current price. So for example, let's assume that you're trading, you're also a trend trader like the previous trader, but you don't trade breakouts, meaning you don't anticipate like, for example, this market is making higher highs and higher lows. Okay, you don't anticipate that price is going to break this level and then you go in here okay because you don't want to get faked out okay so let's assume that you are more of a pullback trader so for example if price is trending higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows higher highs you are looking for price to make a higher low and then that's the area you want to buy you want to buy when price makes this higher low so that you ride the next impulse wave in the trend completely to new highs okay so in this case, the type of pending order you're going to be using is a buy limit pending order. Why? Because for a buy limit pending order, price needs to be above the level you want to get into the markets with your buy order at. So in this particular example, on this USDCHF chart, let's assume that we're, we're thinking that this market is in an uptrend because it's making higher highs, higher lows, okay? Higher highs, higher lows. So now we might say this is a pullback. So in this case, we're going to say if price reaches this level, maybe based on the rules of our strategy, okay? If price reaches this level, I want to buy this currency pair. At the moment, price is above that level, okay? So if price reaches this level, I want to buy this currency pair and I'm going to place my stop loss below this most recent higher low because I'm anticipating that if this market is truly in an uptrend, it's going to either make a double top if it gets resisted, uh, resistance at this level, or it's going to even break above this level. So I want to get in with a small risk and a huge reward. So in this case, the type of order you're going to use is what? Is the buy limit pending order. So let's do that. So again, click on this new order leave the lot size as is, and this is just like an example I'm telling you guys. So it's the buy limit here. We're going to be buying this currency pair when it reaches which price? 0 0.9150, oh, sorry, 0 0.9140, 0 0.9140. Our stop loss for this particular trade is going to be placed at where? 0 0.9100 okay because that's lower than the price level that's where we're going to be placing our stop loss and our profit target is going to be placed at the 0 0.98 9480 uh, 9480 9 price level i'm just placing this levels okay just this is an example it's not based on any strategy okay so this is how you go about placing a buy limit pending order so you are anticipating that price is going to pull back and when it pulls back, when it's cheap, when it's at a discount, you want to buy with your stop loss below the level which you're buying at and your profit target above that level. But at the current moment, this is a pending order because at the current moment, price is above that level where you want to buy. So you're anticipating that price is going to come low, hit you in, and then it's going to reverse to the upside. That's when you use buy limit pending orders. So in this case, you can see that our trade, we are risking something like, uh, let's say we place it uh, below this support level. For this particular trade, uh, we are going to be risking something like $75, okay? And our profit target is something like, uh, what, $370, okay? This is just an example, how you use buy limit pending orders. Again, a buy limit pending order does is not filled automatically at the market when you place it. Price needs to come down to the level where you're anticipating that it's going to come down to in order to trigger that buy order. And then that's when you get filled for a buy limit pending order.
The opposite is true for a cell limit pending order. Okay? So what is a cell limit pending order? Briefly, a cell limit pending order, you are anticipating that price is in a downtrend. And as a pullback trader, you are anticipating that if price reaches a high level, for example, like this level, price is going to bump into resistance and then it's going to continue moving down in the direction of the trend. So for you to place a sell limit pending order, price needs to be below the level where you want to be selling at. Okay, so in this particular example, you can see that price is making lower lows and lower highs on the chart of the GBP JPY currency pair. So the way we are going to be using this is we are going to place our sell order around this previous swing high. Okay, and our stop loss is going to go above it and our profit target is going to go below it. This is what? A sell limit pending order. Okay, so let's do that. Again, right click on your charts, click on trading, click on new, new order, and then we're going to leave the lot size as is. Then select pending order and sell limit as our pending order. So the price level where we want to sell this currency pair is 1.400. That's the one point, uh, sorry, 154.00 price level. Okay, and our stop loss is going to go to 155. Okay, the 155 price level. Okay. And our profit target is going to be targeting this previous lows, which is going to be the 149.80 price level. 149.80. Okay. So just like that, we've typed in our values and we've clicked on place order. Okay. So in this case, you can see that our order has been placed. If this trade gets triggered, the most we can lose on this trade because of our stop loss is 88 US dollars. And our profit target, we are aiming for a profit of around $370. But at the moment, this is not a market order. So this order is pending. That's why it's called a pending order. Price needs to move up to this level where we place this pending order for it to get triggered. So when price comes up here, this order is going to be triggered and we're going to sell this currency pair. Okay. And our stop loss is going to be placed here. Profit target placed here. Okay. This is how you go about placing the four different types of pending orders in the Forex market. So to do a quick recap before we round up this video, the four different types of pending orders in the MT4 uh, platform is the buy stop pending order, sell stop pending order, buy limit pending order, and sell limit pending order. And I didn't just show you how to place these orders. I actually explained to you the use cases for these orders and how to go about placing them. Okay, so this pretty much rounds up this uh, uh, video and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.